Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello everyone, happy Monday to you. We are careening down the road at 80 miles per hour, the road to WrestleMania, and we haven't had a steering wheel for a few miles, but tonight we're gonna rectify that. Coming out next is your new GM of Monday Night Claw. Who's it gonna be? The powers that be all voted this person into the position of leadership, and they are going to take us to WrestleMania and beyond. And folks, let's get down to ringside and find out who our next JFW general manager is. Oh, How you doing wait. tonight, Jimmy Ventura? I'm doing great. I've just woken up, and uh, <laughs> this is going to be a great show, I'm sure. Woo! Flip me, guys. Woo! <laughs> Flip me. Oh, boy. The speculation on the dirt sheets as to who it's going to be has been running rampant for days now since the announcement on Friday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally <laughs> minutes of hype. This is hype. Yeah. <laughs> and it all comes to a head right now. Oh, boy. Let's go to ringside. Oh my gosh! Could it be? Is it really legendary re women's wrestling uh, legend as well as a political uh, revolutionary herself? <laughs> Teresa Mame is in the house and she is here. She's your next general manager. Someone give her a mic and let's hear, oh God, what she's got to say. Hello, JFW Universe. I have been chosen to be the new general manager of the JFW. Now, my first order of business is given Night Demon's seeming admission of guilt at Fastlane over the explosion that took the life of Mr. Jims McMahon. He has been suspended for the week while the authorities investigate the crimes. Furthermore, now that there's a strong and stable hand leading the JFW once again, no more shenanigans in the face of the booking. So tonight's main event will be Johnny Five versus Gengar, as was mentioned last week. And Six Feet Down Under would do well to not interfere with our schedulings any further. The, they and the rest of the JFW are on notice. So there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoy having a good Tory in charge of things. <laughs> good night. <laughs> well, gosh, you didn't even say see ya. See ya. <laughs> uh, well, Teresa Mame coming out giving a temporary suspension to Night Demon for his uh, for his admission of guilt while the authorities look into it. Of course, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jim McMahon, um, gone, gone in that explosion, but not forgotten, folks. But now we've got a steady hand, I guess, <laughs> driving this ship. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Sounds like your testicles dropped midway through that promo. <laughs> I knew it would be a disaster when I just woke it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of disasters, Otter Oil getting himself a Wemdope title shot against oh. Mr. Jimmy Fantastic as the open challenge continues. Oh, I spoiled the surprise. You certainly did, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't do it as a surprise last week. No, well, yeah. folks, it's going to be Otter Oil. That's right. Otter Oil is your big surprise. <laughs> Don't change the channel. He's got a shot. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until Here's the I'm open victorious. challenge for the Wem Dope Championship. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Wait a 
Wait a second, that's Otter Oil's music! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear, Otter Oil has put on some good matches in his days. He's never won any of them, though, I don't think. <laughs> never. <laughs> Hello, Elf. Thank you for staying fantastic for over a whole year. Three who beaver pregnancies after 30 well, months. Glorious. Thank you very much. Teresa Mame coming out as your general manager of the JFW, and she has her work cut out for her folks two weeks left to wrestlemania we only know with great certainty that we have a main event that will be extra arms bought versus rick reckless for the extra arms belt championship uh and that one that one assigned at royal rumble when rick reckless came out as a surprise entrant and won it all and then uh, eab returning uh, a few weeks later at Elimination Chamber and grabbing that extra arms belt championship. And uh, that is your main event for Mania. But we have a huge weekend of WrestleMania matches ahead of us. And we're going to wait and see what else is uh, on, uh, on is uh, uh, in store for us. Cannot wait to see how we get there. Yep. <laughs> Sorry for the yep. But I had to. <laughs> um, good day, Cotty. You could stop doing the voice now, Jim. <laughs> 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 and yeah, I've got a sore throat as well. I woke up with a sore throat. I was like, fuck's sake, I haven't got time to, to secure my sore throat before it starts as well. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh general that's about where we like to exist uh in the jfw <laughs> <laughs> oh at least we have this glorious entrance at least we have jimmy fantastic your wem dope champion continuing his dominating open challenge for that title uh that run who's gonna be the man to knock him off his pedestal will it be otter oil Pro probably not. No screwings, Cocky. It's live. Anything can happen. Oh man, Bobby Roo's getting new music. They'd better keep this in 2K21 or whatever. What the fuck is the point of giving Bobby Roo new music? <laughs> to be fair, this music's too good for him, isn't it? You've got to, you've got to strap a rocket to him with this music. <laughs> yeah, well, they they thought they were briefly, and then they didn't. His entrance in NXT when he first showed up, like, I didn't know who he was from the Indies, and he showed up, and I watched the match, and he's I, I, I'm not a big fan of his in ring, <laughs> like he's I find him kind of boring in ring, yeah. but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but his entrance made it the whole thing just better. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. The funniest thing was, I told Wanga this as well, as well as our other wrestling friend. I had like a dream about a year or two before that Bobby Roode was in was in was in uh, WWE, and I was actually excited excited by the fact. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "What a weird dream, right?" And then, and then that the music happened, and it's like. Wow, okay, well now it makes sense. Now, because I was like, why would anyone ever be excited about, about Bobby Roode being in WWE? <laughs> he was pretty boring. You, you dreamt but, yeah. his, uh, you inceptioned him, apparently. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> and here we go, folks. Wem Dope title on the line. The prettiest belt in professional wrestling. Yeah. And the ugliest wrestler's coming for it. Only joke, not <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jimmy lo looks like he's just gone out of bed there. <laughs> yeah, frequently does. <laughs> Must be Jim knackered. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, in my in my experience, Shawnee, no, the people who make the JFW wonderful don't get paid particularly well. <laughs> That's true. In fact, they get fuck all. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> and here we go. Wemdo title on the line. Jimmy overpowering Auto Oil right off the back. Works them into the corner. Ref going to have to separate him here. And he does. Yeah. And we reset and go on. No, Water Oil using a little bit of quickness that time. Oh. Wretched that. No, countered by Jim. Nice chain oh. wrestling there by both these men. Jim yeah, stepping good. through and getting the advantage. And again, this is uh, this is quite something, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of technical uh, mastery here. Oh. oh, and again, trying to go over and get that arm bar locked in. He just wrenches it once, but let's go. You can see Otter Oil does wear that, K, uh, that KT tape on the shoulder. Don't want to take too much damage there. Yeah. Oh, look at the slap. Ooh, dirty oh. by Jim. Oh, look at that. The shoulder tackle falling through. Oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Indeed, Otter Oil, yeah, yeah, you know, the, the fatal thing really is if anyone tries to, tries to pin you, that's, <laughs> everything goes well till then. <laughs> He's just keeping them separate, just mm -hmm. trying to keep a hold on the match, Ducky. A little bit of contacts allowed there. Here we go, out into ringside, and Otter Oil coming in. Scoop slam here for Jim. On, no, he's going to drop his head right on that. Oh, oh, gosh, right on the hardest part of the ring there, the apron. Brutal. And back in, Otter Oil now getting some advantage. And again, reminiscent of Mordam's opening fury or flurry uh, on Friday. Stand firm, but we still see that Wem Dope title around the waist to Jimmy Fantastic. And here, a little bit more control now by Jim. Big boot, only a one count. Oh, God. Oh, look at this, Uranagi there, and he stomps on him after dropping him, oh, and now, oh, he's going right for it! No way! Look at that! Was my cock. He's going to squeeze some oil out of Jim. With his otter oil pole. Nah, that's nothing. <laughs> oh, dear. But Jim working him into the corner, going to bounce his head repeatedly off that top turnbuckle. <laughs> You're looking at him, Goliath. In the, in the center of the ring there. <laughs> oh, Otter Oil's kind of in the center of the ring. <laughs> no one's going to buy that. <laughs> Elp El says, go fuck yourself, by the way, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had a direct line to whatever uh, invalid hospital wing he was in. And there's the fantastic <laughs> splash. <laughs> and that's going to do it, Jimmy Fantastic. A dominant performance there. Took a little damage, but ultimately the Fantastic Splash putting Otter Oil down. And that was pretty one-sided. Jimmy Fantastic retains his Wem Dope Championship. Oh, glorious. What a performance. The man, the myth, the legend. Broke a bit of a sweat in that one, though. Look at him. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Alright. Um, so next up. <laughs> I think I'm getting the music twice over for some reason. Um have you got I don't my have stream open? I don't have help blocked. Have you got my stream open? No I don't. That's weird, because you, sh you shouldn't have it twice. I have Okay, I'm it. not crazy. Oh, it's a music bug. Okay, no, it was just at the end. Now it's better now. Okay. All right, okay. next up, Hugh, speaking speaking of Elp Meme not being able to wrestle because he's a fucking pile of shit, <laughs> humorous champ on a solo run here, going back to his roots as a plim plum loserweight, taking on Ansi in Extreme Rules. <laughs> yep, hot plim plum loserweight action. Indeed, should be a wild one. Ansi, former champion, humorous chimp, former partner of a fucking seagull that never accomplished anything. 
Yep. <laughs> that is Chim C V really. Former former owner of a car. <laughs> Former champ, yeah, yeah. Former champion, former employee, the freeloader himself, Ansi. <laughs> he still got the dusty theme. He still got the dusty theme, but um, no more car. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Form a pair of raw tacks. <laughs> Here we go, Danny Dyer himself. It's Antsy in the ring, looking to get back to his winning ways. Maybe put up a fight after that to go back after Muppet Pac-Man the Plim Plum Pluserweight Champion who defeated him in a backstage brawl with a vicious uh, briefcase to the head. But, you know, that's never, you know, concussions have never stopped dancing before and they're not about to start now. <laughs> I still like Chimp's entrance, but it's so much better with a car, holy shit. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, he's last? looking confident today. He looks like he's in a pretty good mood, and you know, every step he takes further away from having to deal with help me and will put anyone in a good mood. <laughs> and Chimp, no stranger to having to uh, endure Elp Meme's bullshit. Now looking a little bit freer here for one-on-one -on -one action. Maybe looking to make a big go of it in the Plim Plomp Loserweight division. Yeah, it's, a bit, it's an interesting one, isn't it? And not a lot of time left between now and WrestleMania to separate, separate yourself from the herd and get a shot at Muppet Pac-Man and the Plim Plomp Loserweight title. Absolutely. Oh, look at this. Nice snap suplex there by Chimp. Showing no signs of having trained alongside Elp Meme uh, for the last couple months. And looking pretty good. <laughs> Flying start here. Nice forearm into the corner there. And Chimp. Oh, no. A nice counter out by Antsy. And now Antsy trying to turn this around on the orange orangutan. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, beautiful German Drop, suplex. Yeah. Dropped him on the back of his head there. You know, a soft spot for Ansi. <laughs> Pretty much everything's a soft spot for Ansi. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, comes up empty there on the low drop kick. But right back in and trying it again, maybe. No, flying forearm again. Ansi, oh, he bounced his forehead right <laughs> off the mat. And. Ansi's still showing signs of damage. Oh, yeah, and Chimp knows it going right after trying to take oxygen away from the head. Ansi's still showing signs of injury from that brutal headshot he took at um, Fastlane. Yeah, he really is, poor bastard. Ooh, nice uh, drop, drop to hold. And, oh, now just slugging it out. Ansi looking for anything to slow down the chimp. But they were absolutely rock hard today. Uh, it was, uh, it's, it so is Teresa Mame, Johnny Five. Teresa Mame has arrived and is going to be leading us through WrestleMania and the future. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Rather out of left field, that wasn't it? A little bit, yeah. Genius, though. <laughs> of course. Of course, if you're just tuning in now, folks, Teresa Mame suspending Night Demon for the week for his involvement in the explosion that took the life of Mr. Jim McMahon uh, and uh, has, has decided to continue 
this uh, Johnny Five versus Six Feet Down Under one on one. Of course, we all know what happened on Friday. Six Feet Down Under did not honor that and put it a two on one handicap match. But uh, with a leader in now, a uh, the great Tory control leader <laughs> Teresa Mame coming out and declaring no more shenanigans. This will this main event tonight will be one on one, no ifs, ands, or buts. And uh, six feet down under on notice. They can't fuck around. They might. They might. Uh, they might. Might bite off more they, than they can chew with the GM looking to come out and make a big splash. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a week of while the authorities investigate, and you know it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not punishment yeah. for murder. <laughs> thus, yeah, thus, thus far, thus far, all we have to go on is is his own personal admission of doing it in the middle of the ring, <laughs> surrounded by thousands of people. <laughs> hey, these are American coppers, you know. You, you've got to give them some time. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> I am absolutely aware of their ability to do their jobs correctly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but anyway, back to the match here. A little bit of color showing on Ancy, and surprise, surprise, streaming out of his fucking injured head. <laughs> Chimp, a couple kidney punches there. Ah, fuck off! Chip, don't wind up, Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. The blue head is ready to hit oh, his finisher. Boy. Oh, no. It was countered. Oh, oh nice counter. Drop toe hold counter by Ansi. And look out. Oh. This could be it. Backstabber and champ down and possibly out here. The pin hooks the leg. That would have been a good oh, line, yeah. Oh, he just <laughs> got the kick out. That would have been a good line. <laughs> Unbelievable that one. I thought he had him there. Me too. And Nancy now just getting started here. Running him right down. Oh, nice maneuver. Kick to the side of the head. And Nancy. Oh. oh, no. He comes up empty on the stinger splash there in the corner. And Chimp. Oh, can't hang on for the pin. <laughs> he was right on the ropes anyway. Great. And now great he's slowing the pace perfect. down a little bit. Look how perfect that yeah. taunt was. Look at this. High flyer chimp there. Nice little kick. Oh, wow. And here we go. Winds him up looking for the arm bar. Am I have him? Hey, might. Is Ancy going to tap? It's not. It's not trauma to the head. That's usually how <laughs> we see Ancy lose matches. And no, he hangs on. <laughs> he might get the pin after, though. Yeah. Yep, the classic JFW win. No, two count <laughs> kick out. <laughs> oh man, so close. Oh, he's gonna hit it. Oh my god, he's going for it. Oh, here we go. Going for it again. We need to think of a name for this, by the way. Monkey Slam. Yep. <laughs> and that is probably gonna do it for Ansi. No! No, two count no. kick out. Ansi hanging on one more time. The dick grab power bomb. There's no. Yeah, that's fair enough. No, no, no. It should be. It should be the 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 poop flinger. Oh, the poop flinger. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice shoulder breaker there. Oh no, he caught him in the head actually. Ansi, where's Ansi going? This is extreme rules, folks. Ansi going for a weapon here. <laughs> and he's got himself a chair. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He thought better of it, probably assumed he'd probably get countered instantly and hit in the head, and just leaves the chair outside <laughs> the ring. Pitch, oh, backstabber! <laughs> oh, goes for the backstabber instead, and this could end it. <laughs> oh. Yes, table leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a mouthful. <laughs> 
Oh wow, they've both been crazy good this match, haven't they? Both of them kicked out of finishes and stuff. Yeah. Man. Oh, this I think this it's is it. It's rare that the Flim Flom Pluserweights let us down. Two count again. <laughs> uh, the lemur that I had to research in uh, Living Primates class <laughs> my, or my junior year of college, J5. <laughs> I don't think he's still alive, but if he is, he's at the Chicago Zoo. <laughs> oh, dear. Again, work in the head. Chimp. What a match this has been. Absolutely. Starting us off hot. Maybe trying to impress the new boss here uh, and get themselves a WrestleMania title shot against Muppet Pac-Man. Your plim. Plum, Pluserweight Champion. The biggest belt around the smallest waist. I mean, this is, we're talking 20 years plus bezel. <laughs> oh, uh, this Dirty Park. Pin. Oh, he didn't oh get two him. count, Dirty Pin. Ref didn't see it. Oh. -ho. <laughs> Hello, Frosty. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a Very great frosty. stream. That would be a great stream. J5 investigates. <laughs> 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 Private dig J5. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got that arm again. Antsy hanging on, trying not to tap. All he has to do is reach out and grab the ropes. Doesn't remember <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god. This is. What a crazy match, and he's going for it again! <laughs> he's going wow. for the. <laughs> the poop flinger! The poop flinger! He's got the poop hefted! And he's flung it! And there it is! That's gonna do it, I think! And Chimp! Is gonna be victorious! Absolutely humorous! Chimp! Big win! For the primate. Huge Looking pretty win. good now that he doesn't have to carry out meme through matches. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's like he's dropped 165 pounds off of, <laughs> of weight for this match, and he's really moving well without it. Yeah, absolutely. And he, he won it with that masturbate for 45 minutes while Skuru Metzo watches and take notes bomb. <laughs> I'm joking. Poofling is a great name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're both they're both good. It's just uh, <laughs> the ability to say one of them isn't. Yeah, that's why it's good though, isn't it? <laughs> the complete inability to say it. <laughs> I struggle with the hundred and fifty thousand sign dreams. So. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Chimp getting the big win and looking good for the first match under the Teresa Mame regime. <laughs> yeah, incredible stuff. He's like a giant what's it, yeah. Yeah, what's it's Cheetos <laughs> in America. <laughs> right, so that is it. A great win for Chimp. Um, which means, oh wow. <laughs> it's the yeah. Uh, next up, it's Extreme Rules. Um. Oh baby! <laughs> so if you remember, folks, last week the YPA dominating against Rude Ham, and then Shawnee went low to uh, get himself ejected and spare himself uh, more humiliation in that match. Well. Teresa Mames saw that match, and she seems to have rebooked it. But this time, it's Extreme Rules. He, Johnny can't get out of this one with a low blow. He could win it with a low blow, however. And <laughs> here we go. Tag team action is up next. Yep. I don't know who you mean about Teresa May. We've got Teresa Mame in the JFW. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Weird spin-off of Forum. I guess, yeah. Oh, God. It's like... <laughs> The DC version of Thor and Loki. Yeah, yeah, it's. 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 <laughs> Kill ball. I'll be right back. I'm gonna refill my water. Oh, dear me. Right.
Well, while Gorilla is away there, let's get to ringside. This entrance, holy shit. <laughs> On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 639 pounds, Rude Boy. <laughs> oh, dear me. Big hands, vicious, and delicious. <laughs> through my headphones from a room away so i'm guessing that <laughs> i'm guessing my mic picked that up <laughs> are you all right yeah i'm fine I, we have we have this this cabinet in our kitchen where we wedge all of our tupperware into but we don't like organize it so it creates this like hazard and but it's like above my head so i opened it to grab something and it all just fell onto me <laughs> Like a fucking avalanche. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's even, that's even funnier than the sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good lord. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> was it that loud? It was really loud, yeah. I usually like I usually like laugh at my girlfriend when like one thing falls on her because it's always me who puts it in poorly. <laughs> but it, recently I've just been like the victim. It's probably fallen on me like four times in the last week. <laughs> oh boy. Well, here we are. <laughs> Skuro <Scurrow> starts poorly. <laughs> 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 All right, folks. Oh, and uh, Rude, this I'm is uh, oh, yeah. I forgot. Extreme Rules is always tornado, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh wow, Foxamania's got a chair here. Oh. Sure does, and he drives it right into the ass of Fall Force <laughs> and throws it into the audience. <laughs> oh god, no one's gonna want that. <laughs> Jesus, it's covered in it's covered in bacon grease now. <laughs> and absolutely, Shawnee and Shawnee and JBG. I believe JBG was the victim of that ball shot that ended the match on Friday. Stand firm, going at it outside the ring here. Yep. Oh, Shawnee going for the going for the legs already. Really focuses in on the legs, doesn't he, Shawnee? It's a great move set. Humping the leg there. <laughs> Kick to the back of the knee there. And nice sidewalk slam by Fall Force in the ring. Shawnee and JBG don't seem to have any interest in getting in the ring. <laughs> no. But it's not false count anywhere. The win has to take place. In the middle of the ring. Absolutely. And speaking of the middle of the ring right now, Fall Force. Oh, nice maneuver by the big man Incredible. to take down Foxmania. And now everyone back in the ring. And here we go. Rude Ham on the offensive. No, nice counter by Fo Foxmania. <laughs> yep. And JBG pounding away on Shawnee's back oh, here. Fall Force Mania down. Or Fall. Foxamania taking Fall Force down. <laughs> Fall Force Shawnee BG. Oh, it fucking is Shawnee BG, isn't it? <laughs> no, Shawnee, no! Ow! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and look at this leg drop in the pin by JBG on Fault Force. Oh, incredible. <laughs> and a dominant comeback win by the YPA, really carrying over their performance on Friday that got cut short by the dirty ball shot. None of those coming out tonight when they're illegal. And the YPA dominating. What a what a tag team that was, wasn't it? He drops the uh, he drops the leg and then he gets the cover. Brilliant teamwork. Sh Shawnee didn't even get to punch balls. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Your cheer is dumb. LOL. <laughs> they might have won, Shawnee, but they'll but you'll never have to have been from your cheer. <laughs> Oh, now we've got a uh, now we've got some bigger boys following this match. Indeed, gotta love the bigger boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, J Five. That's something that they do in in the in the double double E. They always make sure to refer to them by their the full wrestler's name. That's probably why they made everybody one word. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's something to think about, but it's hard to do. It's easy just to say he, isn't it, when you're talking? <laughs> but here's the big boys. It's Frosty and it's Wanger. Oh, baby. Absolutely. This is a, uh, you may remember back in the fall, I believe, Frostlord at the time <clears throat> was the uh, extra arms belt champion. No. Wanger was the extra arms belt champion. Frostlord took him on one-on-one -on -one in a cage match and was not successful uh, in that match, Wanger looking to go 2-0 and against Frostlord here uh, as the big boys are going to collide. Yeah, should be an absolute banger. Banger featuring Wanger. Who would have guessed it? <laughs> yeah. Banger, banger. Making his way to the ring. Yeah, I, I think you have. I think they've actually faced each other quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> Not probably. quite a rivalry like we've had between uh, Jimmy Fantastic and Table Leg Wanger, but uh, these two are not strangers to each other. That's for sure. Big Sailor versus Big Table. <laughs> Frosty looking like he's up for a fight tonight. This one is going to be the definition of a slobber knocker. Yep. He very much doing the bets. Oh, hey, Wanger. It's Wanger. The Wanger Banger. Table leg wanger doing his little jig and getting ready to kick the face off a of Frost Lord. <laughs> uh, Frost Lord might just squeeze him into submission with that massive bear hug, drop the pedigree, call it a day. These two guys, two massive powerhouses. Table leg with the quick side rush and leg sweep to start things off. God, I tell you what. Frosty doesn't look so big when he's in the ring with Wang. <laughs> I know. He's a he's a compact uh, strength uh, uh, strength uh, power based wrestler there, but you can see he can still throw the bigger man around the ring, no problems. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Just bounced off him almost, didn't he? Yeah, a little bit. Frosty able to uh, absorb that blow a bit, not lose his footing. 
Hello, Demi. <laughs> Fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> Walking over his gut there. Sign of disrespect from Frostlord. Oh, but nice quick counter there. Table leg back to a vertical base and stumps on the back of the head. A Frosty he looks hurt. Yeah, that looked really painful. It did. Quick cover, too. He might have stunned him. No. One, not even a one count kick out. And Frosty back up to his feet, only to eat a foot to the face. And a, no, blocks the chop. And a straight right hook there. No, and boy. several more to come. And now this one's heating up, folks. Oh, he could be the best pure striker in the JFW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one with a, with the, uh, counter into a chop. Woo! Vicious chop. <laughs> yeah, woo. Big, big chop in the corner. And now he's just going to lock in that headlock, try and squeeze some energy out of Frosty there, take away as much oxygen as he can. Yep. And here's a pinfall effort. Again, not even a one count. Oh. <laughs> Frosty, big slam there to drop him. And uh, looking at, uh, oh, yeah, he's locked in that trapezius claw now. <laughs> the vice-like grip of a sailor. He's had so many <laughs> lonely nights <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. oh, look at this. And there it is. <laughs> that the seaman just has wrapped all over Wanger there. But he's able to fight his way out. Ah, uh, yes, the salty seaman bear hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, look at this pile driver. Oh, nice pile driver there. And now, here we go. Patented table leg wanger. Top rope elbow drop. Oh, boy. Boosh. Boom, he hits it. Wang oh, slam it into the semen. <laughs> and the cover. I Two count to kick out. <laughs> semen just splattered everywhere by Wang. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that for a while. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And here we go. He's going to tune up the band. That wanger is going to come hard. <laughs> Look out. Oh. Boom, he got him. Seaman all over the mat. And here we go. <laughs> oh. oh. Kicks out. Frostlord still in it. Kicking out at two. Wanger can't believe it. Unbelievably. Two wang it to the face like a champ. <laughs> Oh, but now he might, he's going to hit back with a pedigree, maybe. Absolutely. This could do it here. He oh, puts man. the head of Wanger right into the mat, and he's on top for the cover. And he's got He it. got him. Frostlord got him with the pedigree. What's withstood the fury of table leg <laughs> Wanger and Frostlord <laughs> standing tall. Unbelievable. That was a pretty great fight, yeah. That was a pretty great yeah, fight. Yeah, powerhouses, you know, they don't make it long, but they make it effective. And Frostlord, the winner there. What a match. Yeah. <laughs> Wanger can't believe nope. it. Thought he had him. Yeah. You don't see Wanger walk away from too many matches with his head low like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. It's time for the big one, guys. All right, folks. We've been waiting months for this, and now we finally have a new boss in, you know, in control, coming back, putting on Marcel McDaniel's versus Crusher in the middle of the ring, and it's finally gonna happen. Teresa Mame is uh, is uh, is gonna make this one great. I gotta believe. <laughs>
Yeah, make the JFW great again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, wait, wait a man. second. That's Satterfield. Satterfield backstage looking at Gdanik, of all people, six feet down under. And now a fight breaking out between these two. What What are these? What kind of beef do these two have with each other? Satterfield going after Gdanik. Oh, you, know, you know, Gengar later on tonight has a one on one match against Satterfield's former tag team partner, Johnny Five. But those two haven't said a word to each other in months. So I'm not entirely sure what this is about, but folks, this is very intriguing. We got to see how this one plays out. So with apologies to Marcel McDaniels and Crusher, we're going to have to stay backstage and follow this new development uh, as uh, Gdanik and Satterfield, for some reason, going after each other backstage. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a devastating maneuver, wasn't it? Indeed it was. Satterfield started going well, but that undead endurance may be taking over a bit now. Yeah, maybe, but, uh, you know, all it takes is one kick from Satterfield to end this one. <laughs> no, this, they're still tiny. Look at them compared to Gdanik's feet. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, Gdanik really taking it, really taking it to Satterfield here. And uh, yeah, it looks like maybe Satterfield bit off more than he could chew with Gdanik. But here we go, maybe not. Oh. Just bouncing him off all those equipment containers backstage. Stuff. Oh, 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 the no arc play. Oh, out of nowhere, Satterfield. Just stomping away and now having a little bit of a sit down. <laughs> trying to tell Gdanik about this craft beer he just had <laughs> at lunch. Oh, oh a kick to the head. Jesus. Look at those high kicks. Stomping away on him. Satterfield savaging Gdanik here. <laughs> oh, classic. Satterfield walking him a bit too far. Gdanik getting those elbows in and getting some separation. Yep. And I think he's going to return the favor. No, he gets to he gets to toss him. Oh. Yeah, tosses him down the hallway there. The Miz maybe uh, might want to think about moving before these two beasts run him uh, run right through him. There we go. Yep. He is off. Oh, slams him into the wall. Oh, bounces him off the corner there. Oh, yeah, that cement stop. wall and then the double stomp. Oh, and now, oh, look out. Fire extinguisher in hand. Watch out, Gdanik. Oh, boy, <laughs> that's going to leave a mark. Gdanik able to wrestle it away from him. And the uh, canister falls to the ground. Satterfield still on Gdanik here, though, pounding away at him. <laughs> Satterfield loves nothing if not a good pounding. Oh, now they've scared away AJ Styles there. Yeah, AJ Styles, one of the easiest guys in the business to scare away backstage, apparently. I feel like he's back there more than anyone else. Oh! Yeah. Satterfield going through that false wall there. Oh, wow. Just working their way down this hallway. This is one of the furthest we've seen a, a backstage brawl go. Very exciting. I know, you can go into that room back there. It's rare, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Big elbow to the head there and a couple of kicks. I think we're a uh, a few moments away from seeing the snack mask. I think so too, but we, we might see Unagi first. Yeah, the Uranagi maybe. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Nice. Oh, the triple suplexes. Oh, no, look at that. Modifying each one of them. 
incredible. Doesn't put it out though. Doesn't put him out. Satterfield's still in this. He sure is, but not for much longer, I think. Oh, God, oh no. no. Muscle oh, God, Buster no. out. That, that's going to do it. Oh, no. Satterfield. Oh. <laughs> yep. And Gnanek able to weather the storm and fight off Satterfield backstage. And, folks. That means it's time for our main event. I, I gotta believe Satterfield took enough out of Gdanek, so maybe uh, maybe won't be able to be involved in this one-on-one -on -one match between Johnny Five oh, yeah. and Gengar. Oh, and God. with Night Demon suspended, that's gonna put Gengar oh. out all on his own lonesome against Johnny Five. Here we go, one-on-one -on -one action in the main event. No oh, baby. J5 continuing his one man crusade again, six feet down under. He attacked Night Absolutely. Demon. Absolutely. He, he battled. Since the, uh, the, yeah, since the mind blowing reveal that J5 was under that bag the whole time as Mr. E, blowing everyone's mind in the JFW, no one saw that coming. He has been a one man crusader against six feet down under. And you got to believe part of that is a motivation to go after that world heavyweight championship. Yep. And here we go, folks. Gengar coming out. The big man, the powerhouse, the power bomb professional of six feet down under. Yeah, he is on, he is on his own now, of course. Night Demon suspended. Gdanik unable to help him. Yeah, Gdanik got his ass kicked backstage. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Night Demon uh, J5 not going to be afraid of this recent uh, reign of terror by six feet down under. J5 was the man to end Night Demon's Wem Dope championship uh, run. Even though we thought it was Mr. E at the time, that was Johnny Five underneath the mask who beat him and won that title. Yeah, very good point. I mean, he's one of the few people in JFW who knows how to beat Night Demon. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. G'day, Nick. Excuse me. Gengar versus Johnny Five. And there he is, former Wemdoke champion, Johnny Five, no longer bagheaded. <laughs> He's going to strut his, his way out. And look at that, wearing a little bit of a throwback gear there. <laughs> now, this mystery is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Lemon. There were clues, weren't there? Hello, Lemon. Yeah, strange. Yeah, strange. We never saw through that. The ducky's the same. The music's the same. But it's just the mystique of the man. No one saw that what one are you coming. There? What are you doing here? What are you doing? Uh... And here we go. One on one action, folks. Your main event. Teresa Mame off to a hot start as the GM of the JFW, giving you matches like this one. Let's get it going. Wait, wait a second. Whoa. Wait a second. That's Muppet Pac-Man's music. That's the Plim Plum Pluserweight champion himself. Muppet Pac-Man is here. Former unnatural snacker. He's here. What's his motivation? Oh, boy. The Plim Plum Bluserweight Champion, Muppet Pac-Man, coming to ringside here. Wait a second. Is this turnabout being fair play or the Snackers pulling a maneuver? The Snackers, I just said that right, folks. The unnatural Snackers, could they be reuniting to go after six feet down under here? 
We did just see Satterfield take out Gdanik with uh, extreme precision and effectiveness. Yeah, the old fist to fist. And it is. It's a two-on-one match. <laughs> oh, no. Theresa May explicitly saying there should be no more shenanigans and the snackers immediately in with the shenanigans but it's just so good to have the snackers back and here we go look out gengar oh boy well, unbelievable good. stuff yeah yeah and uh this is gonna spell a bit of trouble here for gengar <laughs> oh, 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 J5 i think j5 himself. might have pulled an abdomen there <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. J5 going after the ref for a minute there. <laughs> he doesn't like the ref, does he, J5? No, <laughs> <laughs> certainly not. Wow, this is uh This is pretty this is pretty amazing, isn't it? The the snackers. Yeah. Absolutely. The snackers are back, the heart and soul of the JFW have returned and it looks like we've got a well <laughs> we don't have a fair fight here but it looks like uh, a fair fight coming between six feet down under and the unnatural snackers <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh god <laughs> that's not how you save him j5 using the opportunity <laughs> Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no. <laughs> Jim messages. <laughs> and here's the pinfall on Gengar. Two count kick out. Mm -hmm. And J5 just working over. This is savage. I gotta say, I was looking forward to one-on-one -on -one J5 versus Gengar, but this this one is kind of deserved if you're asking me. And uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta believe. Oh, look out, look out. Oh no, he hit the wrong guy. Muppet hit the wrong guy. Took out J5 there by accident. That's <laughs> not good. But oh 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 my goodness, folks, folks, folks! Excuse me, sorry. Hang on, we'll get you a mic, madam. Uh, folks, we are being joined. Rings, we're being joined in the uh, in the booth right now by your general manager, Teresa. Ma'am, Teresa, not looking, not a smile on your face for this main event tonight. How you doing, ma'am? I am furious. This is absolutely disgraceful, Muppet Pac-Man. I said there should be no more shenanigans, and here he is. I have no option but to strip him of his plim plump pose away championship. Nobody interferes with Theresa name. <laughs> My word is law. So there you go. Let that be a lesson to you, JFW. I am strong and stable. Good day. W well, uh, 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 Commissioner, wow, I'm at a loss for words, folks. Muppet Pac-Man being stripped, stripped of his Plim Plum Pluserweight title. Uh, again, she said no shenanigans, and they came in with shenanigans. And, uh, well, Muppet's going to suffer the consequences. But right now, folks, it's just nice to have the Snackers back. Oh, and that, for, for excellent wrestling like that. <laughs> Wow, that's an amazing revelation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, boy, and the Snackers still working on Gengar. Gengar putting up a bit of a fright, though. But here we go. This could be Muppet, Muppet, Muppet humping that uh, corner there. <laughs> but here it, here it comes. <laughs> Oh, the curb stomp. The curb stomp. This might put Gengar away. He's got him. And sure enough, Muppet, Pac-Man, and J5 standing tall. They've won the match, but Muppet losing his title. He doesn't even know it yet. He's going to get backstage and get the bad news. 
But right now, folks, we got to celebrate a little bit. Look at that. There <laughs> it is. The unnatural snackers have returned to the JFW, and they're going after six feet down under any way they can. Pretty incredible, yeah. Incredible performance, but a bit tragic for Muppet. But hey, he knew the he knew the rules, and he broke them. Yep. If you, yeah, you know, Teresa Mim laying down the laws, and let that be a notice for everyone in the JFW. We have been leaderless for a little bit now, and uh, no more shenanigans in the JFW. We've got a show for you in two weeks at WrestleMania, and it's gonna be a glorious one. But. You got to play by the rules, folks. And tonight, Muffin Pac-Man about to learn the hard way. Uh, and he's been made an example of. But he, that's neither here nor there. Standing up there, victorious. It's the Unnatural Snackers, Muppet Pac-Man, Johnny Five, Satterfield somewhere backstage, I got to believe, smiling big. And we will have to watch this one unfold in the coming weeks as we head in to WrestleMania. And, folks, that's going to do it tonight for Monday Night Claw. As always, my name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me, Jimmy Ventura. I'll see you guys on Friday. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.